week 5 module 5 it's normal form game so uh, let's solve some problem on normal form game okay uh, so let's take this example S1, S2, S3, T1, T2, T3, this is player 1, this is player 2, payoffs are like this, okay. Okay, so this is a normal form game, okay. Player 1, it has 3 action that is S1, S2, S3 and player 2 has 3 action T1, T2, T3, okay. Now, we want to solve this, find the solution through iterated elimination of dominated strategies. So, if we look at this game, you will see that this 2, 2, 3, okay, 3, 4, 3, 5, 0. But here it is this. In this case, 2, 1, 2, 4. So that is, but if you compare T1, T2, we will say 4, 3, 3. So this can be eliminated. So T2 is dominated by T1. So we remove T, T1. 2 and the game is now like this. So, this is 3, 4, 0, 0, 2, 3, 3, 5, 1, 6, 2, 6. Okay. So, here. So, again here S2 is dominated by S2, okay. So, S2 actually dominates S3, S3 is dominated by S2. So, we are left with T1, T3, S1, S2, 3, 4, 0, 0, 2, 3, 3, 5. Okay. Now, here 4, it is greater than 0, but 5 is greater than 3. So, neither T1 dominates T3 nor T3 dominates T1. S, it is 3, 2. It is 3, 2, so S here and it is 0, 3. So, neither S1 dominates S2 nor S2 dominates S1. So, we are left with this. So, if we use iterated elimination of dominated strategy, we will end up here only. We cannot move further. Okay? So, that is why we use something like a pure strategy Nash equilibrium to find out. And let us solve one problem related to Nash equilibrium. Okay? So, suppose the game is of this form. T1, T2, T3, S1, S2, S3. Okay? Payoffs are of this nature. Okay. Now, if we look at this game, let's play S1. Suppose player 1 plays S1, then you will see T3 gives the highest, right? So, if T3 is played, then S1 is again best response because 4, 3, 5. If it plays S2, it is 3. If it plays S3, it is 4. So, S1, T3 is a pure 
strategy Nash equilibrium. Okay. Now, let us play S2. If it S2 is played, then player 2 because player 2 is player 1. Okay. Player 2 is going to choose this. T 3. If T 3 is played, we know it is going to choose S 1. So, there is no Nash equilibrium where S 2 is a strategy or action of player 1. Now, let us play S 3. If S 3 is played, then the best response is T 2 because 2, 3, 2. And if T 2 is played, 0, 2, 3. So, S 3 is going to. So, again another A is S 3 T 2. This is again a pure strategy Nash equilibrium. Okay? So, here we have two pure strategy Nash equilibrium. Now, the next question is are all the pure strategy Nash equilibrium Pareto optimal in this case? So, what are the Nash equilibrium out payoffs? One is 5, 6, when we have this as an S equilibrium, another is 3, 2, when we have this as a, but we have a payoff like this 6, 6, we also have a payoff like 3, 7, but here this is not, but this is a Pareto optimal. If we move from here to here, from 5, 6 to 6, 6, what we are? We are keeping the payoff of player 2 same, but we can improve the payoff of player 1. Here, this is 1, so we can improve the payoff of both the player if we move from this to this. So, that is why these two, these these two Nas equilibrium are not Pareto optimal. Why? Because there exists another payoff that is this combination, combination of payoff which gives which is better than both these two Nas equilibrium outcome. Because this S1, sorry, S2 T 1 which is equal to say is better than what S 1 and because these two are the Nas equilibrium S 2 T 2, S 3 T 2 and S 1 T 3 this. So, that is why it is not. Now, let us solve one, uh, find the mixed strategy in as equilibrium of my game. Suppose the game matrix form or the normal form game is of this nature. One, one, three, four, two, one, two, five, 4, 2, 3, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 3. Okay? Now, if you look at this, if S1 is played, then this is best response T2. If T2 is played, S2 is the best response. If S2 is played, T1 is the best response. If T1 is played, S3 is the best response. If S3 is played, T 3 is the best response. If T 3 is played, S 2 is the best response. If again S 2 is played, then T 1 is the. So, we see there is no pure strategy so, this is for player 2, this is for player 1. Okay. No pure strategy. So, let us find the mixed strategy. Now. Now, here
So, we have found that there is no pure strategy mass equilibrium. Okay. Now, here if you compare 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. So, this dominates. So, S 1 is dominated by S 2. So, remove this, eliminate this. Now, we are left with this. Here you will see 5, 2, 2, 1. Again, this is 3, 2, 1, 3. So, again T 2 is dominated by T 1. We are left with this. So, what is the game? We are left with we have T 1. Now, here if S 2 is played, then T 1. If T 1 is played, the best response is to play S 3. If S 3 is played, best response is to play T 3. If T 3 is played, best response is S 2. So, again no pure strategy. So, suppose player 1 attaches probability P to this action and 1 minus P to this action and player 2 attaches Q to T 1 and 1 minus Q to T 3. Okay. So, the expected payoff from S 2 is 2 Q plus. So, this is equal to 3 this and again expected payoff from S 3 is 3 Q plus this. So, this is this. Now, if we look at this expected payoff, this is for layer 1. Expected payoff from T 1 is T 1 is this again expected payoff from T 3 is 3 3 it is same 3 P plus 3 1 minus. So, it is 3. Now, we know player 1 this is for player 2. Now, we know player 1 will attach some positive probability that is p will be some positive value that is p will lie between 0 and 1 if these two are equal only when it is this. So, this is equal to q is equal to when q is equal to 2 by 3, then p takes a value lying between 0 and 1. Okay. Now, when q this is for player 1.
for player 2, Q takes a value this if these two are equal. So, that means 2 plus 3 p is equal to 3. So, this means p is equal to 1 by 3. So, q lies between here if q. So, this implies that q is equal to 2 by 3, 1 minus q is 1 by 3, this when p is equal to 1 by 3 and 1 by p. Okay. And this is the mix strategy. Nash equilibrium. Okay. Thank you.